You guys don't know about L and Jace, the famous smoke shop right by the Thrive Dispensary. Yes. Right there on Simmons in Cheyenne. A lot of hard work. Being consistent. And you definitely have to have a game plan. And I say a game plan because every day if the smoke shop needs something, whether my account my um, beautician always tell me it's a baby that never grows up. So you're constantly babysitting it, babysitting it, babysitting it, babysitting it. Because you need product, you need this, you need that. You're constantly running. Thank you for tuning in to Visit Vegas Places with Coil, where we showcase business owners and entrepreneurs in the fabulous city of Las Vegas and internationally. So take notes. This is Real Vegas, real topics, real business with real owners, and you just might hit the jackpot. <laughs>
That's right. what happened. We got into work. Right. We got business license, found a location, and then start putting in the work. That's crazy. Now, when she say we just woke up and say, you don't just wake up and start a smoke shop. No, I'm sure you have <laughs> planning to doing all that. Did you guys plan that location or it just happened to be blessed that that happened I, like that? I promise you, it just ha- we just <laughs> happened to. I, I Listen, I can't lie about this. My yeah. brother lived right down the street from where the smoke shop is right now. And we were okay. looking for a location, but I wasn't on it. Like, I would wake up and be like, oh, I need to go find a location. But I wasn't pushing it like that. So my brother was like, hey, okay. sis, there's a smoke shop right next to Thrive. They just closed right. down. You should go by there and call them and see what they say. And I was like, right. whatever. So I go by there. I get the number. I call them. <laughs> hey, I was calling. I was just calling to see, you know, about the space that you have available. Is it still available? She's like, yeah, you want it? I was like, what's what? Well, right. Do you what? Right. She was like, "Yeah, do you want to just yeah. when do you what are you looking to do?" Da da da. da. And I was like, "Well, we about, me and my husband's going to open we want to open up a smoke shop. When are you looking to open it?" I'm like, "I don't know, but I can tell you when cuz we didn't have a date because we hadn't found a location right. yet. So we didn't really have anything in mind." And so I was gotcha. like, "I'll get back to you." She was like, "Not a problem. We'll get the contract going, send it over to you. You fill it out. When you come back in and get, pick the keys up, you can let us know when you're ready to open." And I was like, "Wow. Are you serious?" It was meant, right? God was like, here you go. <laughs> Boo yow. Boo yow. Like, it was when meant. I tell you, that's exactly how it happened. I told my husband, I was like, she's going to give us a location. He was like, are you serious? Right. Yes. We got right. the location and we went to work. And I, when I say we didn't have a plan, we really, I don't mean it like it's easy like that. Like, I just woke up and God was just like, right, there you go. No, right. I don't mean it like that. But when I say <laughs> we didn't have a plan, meaning that's, I had just lost my job. I was going through my emotional state of not having no mother, not having no job. It's just me and my husband. I got right. all these brothers and sisters. So yeah, he was like, let's open a smoke shop. But I I didn't I didn't put a much effort in to do it. Like I was still going through the motions of just my day-to-day life. So right, when right, that happened, right. yes, that did fall into our laps. Yes. That smoke shop location right. fell into our laps. No BS. Right. Like, here you go. Called them. I ca- I called wow. them. Here you go. This is yours. And then by March of 2017, right. we opened up. So I can say wow. yes. I know it don't happen all the time, but that's a true blessing right there. Like boom. Here you go. God said here yes. you go. Yes. Yeah. And just dropped yeah, it in our hands. About key location. That's key location too. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't even plan on over you. The next thing you'll be doing is having another shop. You'd be opening up another shop before you even know it, right? Yeah, that's that what is, we talk that about. That is beautiful yeah. right there. So, um, so with that location, now our you were you're vlogging too. So I like Correct. your vlogging. You have a vlog, um, a day in the life. You know, yeah. and with Janae, yeah. you give your daily process, and I like it because you educate us on your process of owning a business, right? And you were explaining on your um intro video the business center in the process of stocking and buying cigarettes. And that was real interesting. Like I was even looking at it cause I had a whole misconception of smoke shops. I thought that, you know, they just dropped it off. It was conveniently you punch in the order and they boom. I didn't know you have to put in all that work. Yes. That's a work to put in. Every My day. hat goes off to you. Let it give us a briefing on your process as far as stocking, and making sure it's stocked up for your customers. So what I do is on Monday or on Sunday night, I have my brother send me like a, a small list of important things. Normally, I throughout the week, I do a big shop on Thursday and Friday. But throughout the week, I do like little pickups for things that are that sell off back. So if they sell off the back, I don't right. like to go no more than to one day without. If I go one day, that's it. But more than two, day, more than two days, now I'm losing customers. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, well, that's now she's right. not being consistent right. with the product. Let's go somewhere else because now she don't have the product. So I try not to allow us to get to that point. If we run out of something that's important, I make sure not other stuff. I just kind of let it because that's right. like a here and now, here and now. So Mondays, true. I, um, I'll get my list going. And then by Thursday, I have my full list of what everything I need. But like I said, I'm at Costco. I'm at Pioneer. I'm at these wholesalers at least three to four times a week. Three to four times a week, wow. I am driving from <laughs> Summerlin to like 
I would say like Russell and like what's the areas that Russell right. and Rainbow area like every two to three days out every of the week. Day, yeah. So <laughs> it's a, let me. I would say this: it's a lot of work, it's a lot of dedication, <sighs> but you gotta you gotta want it. I say that. That's right. If you don't That's want right. it. And it's you gotta not have the heart. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta, you gotta have that heart. Yeah. When we yes. first opened, it was days that we mm-hmm. would get in. I would get into it with my husband, and it was just be life would just happen. And I would tell myself, "I'm not going to open up that shop." Right. But my mind would be like, "Yeah, you are. You could tell me all you right. all you want that you're not going to open up the smoke shop." But I would get up every day Jeez, consistently right. without a beat. I would say at that night, oh, right. fuck this. "I can't do this no more." That's but right. then my mind would be like, "Okay, yeah, yeah." But then my mind would wake up in the morning. Where are you going to the smoke shop right. to go open up the smoke shop? So it's like it's something that you have to stay on no matter what. Like even when you don't want oh, to, yeah. you still got to do it. Right, right. And you got to your, train uh, your mind that your, your children's children, your brothers and your sisters and their children, they're gonna be thankful you started this because that's gonna go down all to, through the lifeline of the family and generations. So you, right. you're starting something, in, which is very important, uh, which um, a lot of us don't have uh, the awareness to do. And um, I don't know, like um, a lot of us in families like me, I, I don't have a family of big business owners. I'm like the only first one who really, you know, got in. So I don't really have advice. Um, I don't know if you are the first one to own a business in your family. You see, so, yes. so it's a different there's. It's different. You don't, you can't turn to uncle or pops and be like, hey, what do I do? It's some things you got to go through trial and tribulations um, on those runs and learning how yes. to operate that business. Correct. And uh, you got to reach out for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's either. And then it's either that's life or death situations. Yeah. If you don't grab it, you're going to fall. You're going to fall. So you got to go go get it. You got to go get it in, in any form or fashion. You have to get it. Now, um, before you was talking about the smoke shop, before you had got fired from the event planner, um, this is one thing I always think about um, what I do now in my business and the jobs that I had before. What is one thing that from that even the event planner or something that you utilize that even in your daily process of owning a business, it might dawn on you like, man, you know what? I got that from when I was working or when I was nine to five and I'm working. What is something that still stick with you that you gained from back then that's beneficial to this day? Being able to be a leader on my own and stand on my own because I've always, right. I had, before I was an event planner, I was a worker. And what I mean by worker, I mean, I would go to work. I would depend on people to tell me what to do, when to do it, how to do it. You know what I'm saying? But when I became an event planner, I became, uh, I don't want to say an owner, but I became an independent entrepreneur of my own because Mm. I had to run things on my own. So I had to make the money on my own. If I wanted to get a high bonus, I had to go get the high bonus. They wasn't, it wasn't like, here's your high bonus. No, no, no. It was like, go work for it. Right. So it taught me to stand on my own and to be strong enough through, through tough time. Like I don't need, when I was an event coordinator, we had situations where you had to be able to think fast and on your feet when, without a manager to come in and save you. There was no way I could call somebody like, Hey, right. da, 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 da. So it, it, it taught me how to be that confident individual that I need to be a boss, to be a leader to be an owner, to be an entrepreneur. It gave me that leadership that I didn't have being a worker. Right. Wow. And that sticks with you for the rest yep. of your life. Yep. Rest of your yep. life. So what would be your least favorite part of owning the smoke shop? The least favorite. I will say, honestly, <laughs> I don't have much. Of, I, honestly, I'm so grateful for it that I don't really like to complain about nothing. But if I would, I would say the shopping. Going to okay. the shop to do okay. it. Um, okay. The the payroll, learning how to do different things. I like that part of it because I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? It's things that I don't That's know right. how to do. That's so right. if I'm learning, I want to continue to do something right. I'm learning. But if I have to go drive somewhere, some something that's like, I don't got to think about it. Like just driving to go buy stuff. I don't got to think about right. that. That's natural to me. You know what I'm saying? I know this is what I got to do. That's this right. But learning that's every right. day on the business level. And I've we've been learning since we open it, like it's been hard work. That's right. It hasn't been like an easy right. road. Like, here you go. Here's all your customers. Here's everything. This is, no, it's right. been right. Right. We don't lost money. And like, where the money go? I don't know. We need to help. We need help. <laughs> you know, I didn't have, we didn't have directions. Right. We didn't have, we didn't, we didn't know right. which way to go. Right. So 
I'm thankful for being an event planner over there because it gave me that backbone that That's I right. needed. It That's gave right. me. So, but I don't have, I don't right. really have no weaknesses. Right. I don't have no weak besides driving. Okay. I like that. That's it. All right. I like that. And then the awareness of it too. Um, like I, I, I used to be a ops manager at a call center. So I did a lot of paperwork as far as like from everything, the write-ups to forecasting the weekly business reviews, so um, I remember going through it. The pay was good, but sometimes I'd be like, man, I hate this. And I didn't know it, but I was learning it. And then also answering to, um, you know, higher, higher ups on where this hundred thousand went or where this hundred thousand went. And it's like, dude, so now I sit back. I'm th- I would do that for myself any day, but it's, it's a blessing. I, I, and I think back, I used to be sweating bullets during that moment at that time period, but it was for now. Cause now I do it with ease for myself right. and it's just different. So I understand where you come from when you just, and I, and I always think about it, you know, when I go through something, I'm doing something or even doing something and it's a lot of work right. and I can sit back and be like, man, that taught me this, or I'll be sitting here all day trying to figure yeah. this out. But I went yep. through that. And now I know how to do this. Exactly. So it's, just, it's just a blessing. It is. <laughs> you got to take everything, take the highs and the lows with the like a grain man you got to take some positive out of everything you do because you don't know what you're built for exactly like because i didn't know i was it was set me up to do this i i didn't know five eight years ago that i'll be doing this podcast right. business like you probably didn't know that you would be running a smoke shop i didn't right. know that i didn't know certain things in my life beforehand would set me up to be wise to do this so that's man that's beautiful now let's get on to the YouTube because you are on social media. I am. And, um, but the TikTok, I remember you was explaining the TikTok. I didn't like the TikTok was giving <laughs> you a problem, but you have to finesse it a little and find a way. But you found your next. Um, you guys got to go to her YouTube channel. Um, now they blowing up. She's implementing. What I like about Janae, you guys, is, um, of course, you guys know social media. She owns a smoke shop, so there's only limit of things that she can post on there. So she's figured out a strategy on the way to get views and educate people of running the business while she's in the smoke shop. So she's finding that happy medium. And um, I'm going to let her let us know about finding that to all the other audience that's running the business that's trying to figure out how can I put my business on social media? Go ahead, Janae. Okay. So at first, when I first thought about social media, it's like scary because I'm from, I'm 79. I'm born in 79. So I come from a generation. Ain't no social media. Okay. We had telephones and pages. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Computers, none of that was existed. Okay. But yes, everybody's sir. telling us, you know, we have to get on. So you have to get on social media. You got to get on social media. So once I got the confidence to get on social media, I just went on there to have fun. I didn't really think too much about it, right. but I was open to other people's suggestion of what I needed to do. To grow my following, to right. grow this, to grow, you know, to grow the business. And so even with you, like me being a dancer on there, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, I was having fun. To me, TikTok was a place where I like to have fun. So I found a place that I like to have fun. And YouTube was right. more like a business side of it. Like, this is where I'm trying to actually grow for real, you know, have good content over here, learn over here. But TikTok was fun. But then when I talk to you and you're like, hey, <laughs> everybody can dance. What are you doing to educate people? <laughs> And what's so crazy is that that's all right. I talk about is want to educate people. But then I get on TikTok and I get on there dancing like everybody right. else, like a damn fool. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I get on TikTok and start dancing like a damn fool. But you know what? Right. It helped me get comfortable posting. Dancing Boom. helped me get comfortable posting. Yes. So once I got the comfortability, now I'm to the point where, okay, I'm going to take his advice. Now I'm just not going to post anymore. When I post now, it has to be something that I'm going to be able to educate because that's what I talk about myself. When people come into the smoke shop, you know, they're coming in for counseling. They come in to talk to, for some, for me to listen, for me to give mm-hmm. them advice. So it's like, if I can do that outside, why am I not able to do that on camera? You know what I'm saying? Why am I not able to right. do that to give that to the right. world? And it's like for right. a minute, it's more so a fear, a fear of that's a lot of people who's going to be, what if I'm wrong? You know what I'm saying? What if somebody comes behind me and say, well, that's not how you do it. So that's a fear of, you know, a fear itself. So now uh, yeah. it's like, I'm okay with dancing. Boom. I can dance. Now I got to figure out how to educate, you know, everybody on what it's like to open a smoke shop, how to open up a smoke shop. If you live in Las Vegas, these are the yes, tools you yes. need 
to open up a smoke shop because at the end of the day, can't nobody tell me that's not true because I do know that part of it. You know what I'm saying? I do know you need X amount of dollars to do this. There you go. So now that I feel more comfortable in front of the camera with my YouTube channel and with TikTok, now I am gearing towards finding my niche, which is how to educate the people and not just be another girl who's on social media bopping my head and popping some booty, you know? (laughs) Right. Yeah. Cause you got the wisdom. You just explain the wisdom you have for this full 20 minutes we've been on. I believe you can have the first, uh, how to open a smoke shop for dummies book. You can Actually, write it. You don't even know it's in I don't. You. I'm trying to tell I know. you, you know how many people will be like, yeah. what? Let me get yeah. that book. Yeah. Hold on. And then they hear something like this, be like I can relate to her. Then that means I can do it probably. Yeah. So that's a whole nother level. And it's just hearing you talk. It's funny. I I got another idea for you as far as content. And I was thinking about when you said people come in the store and I know there's a lot of people that um you can easily turn into a shrink office. I'm sure you do. So I'm sure customers come in there and have issues. So say, for instance, I was to come in here and um, I'm like, hey, Janae, um, I don't know what to do. Um, even like if, or I say, for instance, you can relate. I just lost somebody close to me, Renee, and I just don't know what to do, Janae. So you can tell me like, you know what, something that helped you get through what you went through in life. Right. Yeah. With that being said, that's content right in your store. Oh, okay. So you can go on your camera and be like, listen, you know what, in my store, I had a customer and I just want to let you guys know, stay, you know, that's going to resonate mm-hmm. with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Cause at the end of the day, see, we don't think right. of stuff like that, you know? So when you think of it, and then also when you think of it, cause your mind is starting to roll, write right. it down. Don't be trying to hold, hold it in it the off. head, go on and write it down, write it down so you can move on to the next thinking. Got cause you. it's going to, once you start flowing, the Lord is going to be throwing ideas in your head. Cause he's going to be working with you. Yes. Like, Oh, I see you want to go this way. I so I'm going to help you. Cause one thing the Lord does when you want to go the right way, he's going to make Correct. sure it happens. That's Correct. one thing about him. He's yep. going to make sure it's yep. going to happen. So so think about that. And I can't wait because I can already see it. Um, you doing all that and just like going to the next level. Um, let the audience know your YouTube handle, um, which is in the show notes. But if you're driving or along, you can't go into the show notes. Let them know right now your YouTube handle so they can go and follow you. Okay. My YouTube channel is I am Janae. And that's I, A as an Apple, M as a Mary, J, H, A as an Apple, N as a Nancy, A as an Apple, E. And I think that's it. Yeah, I am Janae. That's pretty much it, my YouTube. And my TikTok is yep. at the Janae Show. There you go. <laughs> and my yes, Instagram. Check her out. My Instagram yes. Channel, no, wait, my Instagram go ahead. Janae underscore Loring. So J H A N A E underscore L O R I N G. There you go. See, you get them now. And when you switch up, don't don't when you before you was doing the dancing, you remember you have to climb up on the um the um audience. So now when you switch it to the educational, it's going to be the same thing because that's the same thing I did. I had to switch minds over from when I used to do music years ago, my personal to what I do now. And it took a while Mm -hmm. for them to understand, like, okay, that's what he's doing now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to follow. But you got to understand the audience is, is, is different. Right. So I rather, when I was doing music, I had a, I, I had a hundred sheep. Now I'm doing this. I have 10 strong lions. I would rather have 10 lions than a hundred sheep. Yes. Yes. Me. I agree <laughs> so, with you. So don't let the numbers fool you. Don't let I the know. numbers fool you. All right. <laughs> All right. So now before we had, you head out, we're going to see this or that, if you like this or that, but I've switched it up for you. Okay. Usually on my guests, um, I like to ask them um, what they like, but this one I'm going to have, what sells the most in your store? Okay. Okay. So this or that. So, and then after that, I'm going to see how very, very big okay. you are. All right. So this or that for, for Janae, owner of LNJ Smoke Shop, and that's located again on Cheyenne and Simmons, you guys, right next to Thrive. When you're at Thrive getting your good buds, make sure you stop by and get your swishers from Janae or your vapes. Okay. Yeah. So for Janae, what sells the most? Swishers or backwoods? It, 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 that's a tie. <laughs> I can't even lie. I can't even lie to you. That's a tie. That's a tie. Oh, no, man. The- boy, them guys sitting on fat, boy. Them swishers, them backwoods, them, boy, them guys, boy. Except... <laughs> 
since we was kids, though. Yes. I remember back when we was growing up, because I'm 78. So okay, I remember so- back in the 90s when it... We, yeah, because I remember it was Phillies. Yeah. I don't even think Phillies even exist. No, 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 they still do. They, no, they still have them. They, they have a two pack now, but yeah, but yes. they, don't sell, they don't sell that well. They are horrible, but they have Phillies. They still have. Yep, they still have them. Yeah, that was yep. all you can get was Phillies. I remember we. I remember then they came with the Titans. We used to do all the little Philly stuff, but um, now it's so much. It's like soda now. You pick all kind you of flavors. Yep. They didn't have flavors yep. back in our days. Yep. Yeah, yep. all that stuff. But yeah, it's crazy now. So the next one now, um, which um, I used to, but now I'm glad I stopped. What about Newports or Cools and cigarettes? Which one Newports. Sell the most? Our hands in. Newports. See, hands that's in. with us. That's with us. So, so what about if I was to say Camels or Marlboros? I would say, which I would say sells the most? you know what? I would say at our, at our shop, I would say Marlboros. Because we don't have a big selection of camels. Marlboros. If we had a big selection of camels, gotcha. then maybe camels might sell, but we have all the selection of marbles. So marbles sell more than gotcha. the camels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are the big dogs, yeah. the Marlboro, Newports, the Newports, yep. the yep. big dogs yep. right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next, and also note, that one also, I remember back in the days, you either get the green oh, the, or the red. Now they got blue, yellow, yep. purple, black, turquoise, <laughs> everything. You, and, everything. And, it's, and it's someone that does each one of them, yes. too. And you be like, who yes. buys these? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so the last one we have, um, the candy. What sells the most out of there? Now laters or lemon heads? Um, I'm gonna say that's a tie too. Wow. Okay. Those are my yeah, two favorites. Yeah, those both though. sell the same. Man, the lemon, them now, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Them lemon heads. But I like you have the um different flavors of lemon heads. Uh, yep. Always get candy. But like what I like about you, you have that like pink lemonade. Yeah. And then you have the different flavors of the uh, now later. I like yeah, that. Yeah. Because other shops just have the regular ones. I could tell people who stock the regular ones, they don't eat it or they're not used to They don't know their audience. Like, yeah, you don't know your audience. You just, well, nobody well, eats you know, cherry now later. one thing I learned, <laughs> too, from being an event planner. You have to know know what your people want. You know what I'm saying? Know what the people want. That's, right. that's the number one rule. Even as when customers come in, I feel like when I give, when we give our customer that good customer service, that's what brings them back. I'm going to be honest. Our big selection does too, but our great customer right. service, because they're not getting good customer service out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Pete, when you go into some smoke shops, they're not, they're, they're looking right. at you like, give me your dollar bill and get the hell out of my store. And that's, and that's it. it. Like customer service right. is out the you're window. Right. Yeah, you're right. So when we give that good <laughs> yeah, customer <you're> right. service, <laughs> people come back because that's what they want. They want to feel like their money is worth, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I just spent my money here and she cares about me a little bit, even right. if I don't really care, but I make them feel like I care. That's right. That's right. Even when I was there doing a the content for you, it's like each customer you had a small yeah. talk with. And you don't usually see that in the smoke shop. Each customer knew you had a warm welcome. They was comfortable with talking to you. It wasn't just an exchange Correct. and I'm out of here. And uh, that, yes. that goes a long way. Exactly. That builds loyalty. So that goes a long way. It does. You're on the right track with that. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. So next, we're going to see how very, very Vegas you are. Okay. Um, welcome. Yeah. This is a good one. So this one I got from uh, funtrivia.com. Shots out to Fun Trivia. And uh, remember, you guys, if you want to send me any trivias, you can email them to me. Visit Vegas at Gmail dot com. If you have trivias, email them to me and I will shoot shot you out. Um, if you leave one, just leave your name and I will shot you out on the show. So this one is uh, from uh, fun dot com. And this one for you is I'm going to give you three options to make it easier. Okay. So in which of these casino locations would you expect to find slot machines with the highest payout? Okay. So again, which of these casino locations would you expect to find slot machines with okay. the highest payout? And that would be by the cage, near the front entrance, or near table games. I would, I would say the cage. Front entrance or the table I would games. say the cage. <laughs> I would say the front entrance. The cage. No. Oh. So, yeah, the front, the front entrance. entrance. It is. As, and it was crazy. When I was looking up, I thought it was the cage, but it's actually the front entrance. Um, it's funny. I'll read it for you. So, it says uh, it's uh-huh. near the front entrance. 
the theory here is that people walking in will get the impression that people are winning over the establishment. On a side note, the casino figures that if players are playing at a table game and need to take a break, they will play some slots. This is a quick and easy way to get their money. So the slots here pay out poorly. So on the other flip side, the lowest payout is near the cage. That's wow. crazy to me. So near the cage, they say they say the theory here is that people are going to cash yeah, out that. at the cage. The casino wants to tempt the person one last time with the lower paying machine, get any last dollars and cent that exiting gambler will relinquish. It's crazy. I mean, that does make <laughs> sense. All that does. Because as you're leaving, you're like, oh, let me throw it this does. dollar in there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Let me try one more time. Let me try yeah. one more time. All right. All right. <laughs> Are you hit big on a little 500? Then you cash out and put your dove in, you know, and keep the little ticket. <laughs> I think we all yeah, got techniques yes. out here. Which you you got to yeah, be out here to know. Real. And if you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Janae, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, you know, I'll be to see you and um, let everybody know before you head out the social media handles, but most importantly, the address and where to see you at. at okay. So show. we are located at 2755 West Cheyenne Avenue, Suite 107. Our Instagram, pe- our Instagram page is LNJ Smoke Shop. LNJ Smoke Shop. It's L and. J smoke shop. So not in it's A N D smoke shop. And, okay. 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 All right. So Ellen, and then, um, I'm going to have all your links in the show okay. notes. Um, are you guys on, um, um, Google we Maps? Are. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, um, I would definitely go on there cause I would like to go on Google Maps, any business owner I review or even cross path with, I always make sure I Thank review. You. Them on yes, it does. Yes, it business. does. So yes, yes, yes it does. Yes. It does help the business. So I will make sure I do that for you. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to thank you. Um, thank is it in house and how's the ebook? How was it? You got the ebook. Let me know. I didn't get. No okay. Feedback so, how, what, what, so how was it? So I'm going to come from a perspective where I was angry at the ebook because I felt like, <laughs> I felt like, Mm-hmm. It was gearing towards a certain, like maybe Instagram, TikTok, and I'm more of uh, trying to engage more in YouTube. But what I did was I, I went okay. back over it again and I just kind of took some of the tools, but I feel like it's right. more for like Instagram and TikTok, which helped out a lot. But for like a YouTube Correct. perspective, it's definitely not from a, for a YouTuber. No, yeah. not at all. Yes. Not at all, YouTube. Yes. You're right so. on that. Yeah. And then it's funny you point that. That's I know you're savvy and you know what you're talking about. Because um, that comes from the point when I started. And I, I pay YouTube attention last. Okay. So uh, we're, as a business, we're just now paying attention to YouTube and upload it. We was neglecting it. So now we're just now giving our podcast. We're just now doing shorts. And it's turning See? out pretty good now. But uh, we, we nope. weren't really paying sure YouTube wasn't. attention. sure wasn't. So now that, yeah, so it, I'm glad you said that because now there's tricks we learn. Um, I'm glad you said that. So I got to write that out. I didn't really notice that till you just said that, that there is big differences and you do yep. got to detail that out because there's things that I do not yep. know that we learned in YouTube yep. that I want to share out. So I'm glad you, I'm glad I asked you that. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So yeah, you want to share anything? Um, you guys got anything upcoming or new you want to share before we head out? Um. No, nothing really. I'm just trying to get through the end of the year right now. So right. I'm do I am doing a um we're doing a giveaway right. at the smoke shop. Yes, LNJ Smoke Shop is doing a a, a, okay. a raffle there you go. for November and December. So come by and get your raffle ticket. We are raffling off bongs. Um at no charge, but a dab rig we're raffling off as well. But that is gonna be a charge of five dollars a raffle ticket. But we are definitely doing a raffle for November and December. So come on by and check us out. 2755 West Cheyenne Avenue, Suite 107. L&J. That's what I'm talking about. You guys heard that? And you guys check out her content. I have her in depth on video on my profile. So you guys check out Janae Lauren, owner of L&J Here. Smoke Shop. Thank you, Appreciate Coyle. you, Janae. I thank you. You're welcome anytime, All right. anytime. You already know that. And I want to thank the audience for tuning in. You guys go check out Janae. Let her know you heard her on the show and seen her on the yes, profile. Yes. Okay. Love you guys. You guys could have been anywhere, but she was here. Please check out okay. LNJ Smoke Shop. Thank you guys you. download the episode. Love you guys. See you guys next Friday. All right. I'll see you, Janae. Appreciate you now. 
Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to follow, subscribe, and download. Also, you can email us. Email the show. Any questions, you can email us at visitvegasplaces at gmail.com. And that's visitvegasplaces at gmail.com. And you can also support the show. Support is always welcome. Make sure you can follow the link inside the show notes. And that is on Cash App, dollar sign, visit Vegas, dollar sign, visit Vegas. Follow us on all social media platforms, you guys. And that's at Visit Vegas Places. And that's whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the good stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we will see you next Friday at 12 noon Pacific Time Standard.